Good morning. I hope everybody is doing well. We've been gone for a few days. Had a great time at Disney World, chasing our grandchildren, Lincoln and Polly around Disney World. It was a good time. Went to all four parks in three days. That was great. You know, way back in 1975, Holiday Inn Hotels began an ad campaign that said the best surprise is no surprise. And their campaign was you make a reservation, you're going to have a reservation. You're not going to get there and be surprised. You expect a good room, you're going to get there, you're going to have a good, clean, comfortable room. No surprises. The best surprise is no surprise. You can depend on Holiday Inn. Well, you know, several years after that campaign came out, and they were still running that campaign, I booked a hotel room in, I don't know whether it was Washington, D.C. or in Bethesda, Maryland, somewhere close up there. And I got the Holiday Inn, the reservation was there. I went up to my room, and it was just like it is right now. Early March, temperatures were changing. It had been cold for a long time, and all of a sudden we had a 75, 80 degree day. I got to my room, and the thermostat in my room said that it was 82 degrees. I still remember that. It was hot. I tried to turn the air on. I couldn't turn the air on. I called the desk. I said, hey, what's up? My room's almost 85 degrees now. I need some air conditioning. They said, well, we're sorry but we can't turn our air conditioning on. We have to wait for somebody to come in and change the system over and convert it over to AC. And you know what I repeated to them? I said, you know, seems like I heard the best surprise was no surprise. And an 85 degree room is a pretty big surprise to me. So I went down to the desk and I checked out of the Holiday Inn and I went to another hotel that was close by where the air conditioning worked. We don't like surprises. We like things that we can expect and depend on. You know, I love bacon. Love bacon all my life. That's probably why I had, part of the reason why I had bypass surgery a few years back. But I love bacon. But the thing that I don't like about bacon is you can buy this pack of bacon and it cooks up fine and looks nice. And the other pack of bacon that you buy all of a sudden the ends curl up and you can't get those done without burning the middle and it's just the thing. I always wanted one of those things like they have at Waffle House that you can just set on top of your bacon and it keeps it down. Well, you know, recently we found some bacon that is one of the cheaper bacons that we have and it cooks up probably the best compared to the other bacons that we've tried. It's amazing, you know, but bacon is often very inconsistent and we want stuff that we can depend on, that every time we go to get it, spend money on it, we get what we expect. A lot of ad campaigns are out there now saying to exceed expectations. Well, most places can do that fairly regularly, but they can't do it all the time. There is one place though that we can go where we do get our expectations exceeded because our Lord and Father always exceeds our expectation. Scriptures over and over again tell us that the God that we serve, the God that we worship, is faithful, keeps his promises, and does what he said. This morning I would like to read 1 Corinthians chapter 1, beginning in verse 4. I always thank God for you because of his grace given you in Christ Jesus. For in him you have been enriched in every way, in all of your speaking and in all of your knowledge, because our testimony about Christ was confirmed in you. Therefore you do not lack any spiritual gift as you eagerly wait for our Lord Jesus Christ to be revealed. He will keep you strong to the end so that you will be blameless on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God, who has called you into fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, is faithful. Be safe. Stay well out there.